Who's a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again. He will have compassion on us. He will subdue our iniquities. And thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. God describing his nature, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity, forgiving transgressions, forgiving sin. When you really understand and discover the true forgiveness of God and where there is true forgiveness, you're always going to find a love for Jesus growing and you're going to find an obedient people. They're going to obey God. And you'll find a great devotion, a great love for Jesus, an ever-increasing love for Christ. Don't go out and give up. That's what the devil wants you to do, saying there's no forgiveness for you. There is forgiveness, and there's healing, and there's power in the blood of Jesus Christ to deliver you. He says, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. He died not only to forgive us of our sins, Jesus died to break the power of our sins. Come to the cross, come near with me. And he died as a living sacrifice for sin. And God said, this is the only door to eternal life. I'll prove to you this morning that his cross is our cross. His death is our death. His resurrection is our resurrection through identification and union with Christ. He said, now you embrace the cross. You embrace my victory. Embrace this as the only way to victory by faith in the overcoming power of Jesus through his shed blood. I am dead now with Christ to sin. I am crucified with Christ. I am resurrected in the newness of life. Now there's no dominion of sin over me. The word of God says I can now do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm a free man. I can now yield my body into the service of the Lord and my members as instruments of righteousness. 